Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We got a list of 14 properties on Treb plus four more on the Oakville Milton system. Had a question about tours of homes, and so I'll break it down very quick. It's a physical tour. We try and keep it as specific as possible. So if you're looking for townhouses, we're not going to send you on the detached double garage tour, which means small groups, sometimes even single groups. But the point is, is you're going to see between three and five homes, some different neighborhoods, some different contexts. Plus, you're going to have all of that interpretation by somebody from our team that takes you on tour. And really what you want to do is just prepare. It's not designed to find the perfect home. It's designed to give you the baseline so that when you find the perfect home, you have much more awareness because the biggest problem I'm seeing right now is people are using the internet too much and they're not going to see stuff in real life and so when they find the right house they go is this a good deal is this the best I can get for my money and they're not sure because they haven't done the legwork and so I'd encourage you to, to get out it's not too early uh, year year and a half before we've seen people come on tour and they've said to us afterwards it was the best thing we could have done because they went back to the computer and everything made so much more sense and even if they have questions we can say remember the one you saw on tour well it's kind of like that but it has an extra room on the main floor the or the third bedroom is actually bigger so it gives a frame of reference too so if you're interested click on that link seven days a week we do the tours very very valuable and so let's get started with uh, the list we've got 1350 main street number 102 3049 it looks like a corner two bedroom two washroom probably the windsor model corner in which case this is in line uh the way the corners are usually a little bit bigger there is a bit of a stigma being on the first floor and uh, for some people, so it can be a little bit trickier to sell. Sometimes it adjusts the value a little bit down, but I still think without pictures, it seems like it's within the zone of where uh, where you'd expect. We've got 319.9 here is the actual Rothschild. Not many three bedrooms come up for sale. Uh, we did see last year a couple of them and they sold up at like 329 i think a couple even over 330. now this one here doesn't look very impressive inside i think the carpet looks a little bit old and it's that grayish carpet too which kind of is a little bit it just seems almost a little bit dreary but i mean not often do you find the three bed condos in this building you'll see them over at 81 mill side but it's an older building so this is a good option i think for somebody uh, the downsizers like it the maintenance fees aren't too bad at 286 a month and so i generally have good things to say it's easy to rip the carpet out and put some laminate or some hardwood floors and i think they're still in a competitive price they should sell that one pretty quick uh, nadlin is 374.9 and so it's a spring valley it's the new version it's called the the woodbine i don't find the pictures are very enticing at all it's actually a great floor plan but they showed none of that in these pictures and okay great there's a tv big deal like it's photos aren't good price is high compared to what else is sold for that same model i don't think it has much of a chance now this one on duncan 439 it's a jasper model and it's got a bigger uh yard well here's the thing bigger lot but it looks like it's a pie shape in the front so you've got a larger front lawn which to me is practically useless they do have two car parking in the driveway end unit is good uh nice looking kitchen they've staged it very well we say the word staging like they've sort of enhanced i have a feeling they probably live like this it looks like a well-kept home the upgraded light fixtures and it actually got an offer fast this is a nice thing but it's not very expensive to do it's just it's a good value feature uh good for them it faces train tracks and i thought at 439 they were a little bit high but they got an offer after a day or two but that just shows that move-in ready commands a premium so there's actually two listings of that one i couldn't figure out how to only put one in so uh scott boulevard scott boulevard boulevard is 464 9. I think a good price it says detached it's linked on on the uh underneath the ground by the foundation but functionally it's a detached home and hardwood floors here living dining in the front then you've got kitchen with the family in the back and so there's no hardwood in the family room just the front living dining and there's a pretty good size lot 30 by 90 feet i think this is a great price i think that model is somewhere around 17 1800 square feet lands pros 474 it's a semi-detached 1930 square feet Right on the corner of Tremaine and Landsboro, so you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of the road noise from Tremaine, which I think is a downside. But what you're also getting is you're getting some pretty good views of the escarpment, and really after you cross Tremaine, you're getting into protected land, so you're probably not gonna find a subdivision right 
in front of you, you're probably going to retain a pretty good amount of, uh, of views and serenity and more of the rural style properties right across the road. Uh, inside, some hardwood floors, uh, a little bit more of a basic kitchen, but they've done the stainless steel appliance. It's always a good idea if you can do a black or a stainless steel hood fan. And things above cabinets generally don't look good. There was one uh, exception to that rule that I, I showcased last week where the ceiling was so high that they almost enhanced the view of the height with, uh, with some stuff above the cabinets. And there you go, defined front entrance. And there's your extra yard space because you, you're right on the corner there beside the busier road. And uh, so the price... I, to me seems a little bit high if you negate the effects of being beside a busy road with a view and you say would that semi at that size sell for that price that's on the high side for sure uh caver hill 512 it's a windham corner about 1850 square feet no finished basement and they were up i think as high as 549 and i think they dropped the price to 525 and now 512 so possible signs of motivation two price changes within a couple weeks uh, nice kitchen upgrades. It's a little small here. There's not a lot of room for two people to be in this kitchen. Separate living dining, which is nice. And then you've got three bedrooms plus a good sized laundry room upstairs. This is a price where I could definitely see it selling. We've seen this model without a finished basement. It was an outlier, but it was up in the 530s that they sold for. And we've seen a few of them with the finished basement, 520, 525, even as high as uh, up in the 530s. So could definitely see that one going. Uh, Cedric Terrace 514.9. Don't have a lot of information. It's a Matami detached 34 foot lot, over 2,000 square feet, and it, look, it looks like it's all carpet inside. So the more than 2,000 square foot homes, if they're nice, can sell in this range. And I'm just not sure they have the upgrades to, uh, to make that happen. Eden Place is a Powell model with a finished basement, so about 1,900 square feet. And they've done a nice job in here. The kitchen's not super fancy, but the, the, the whole house has been taken care of well. Eight foot ceilings on the main floor. There's your finished basement. Plus, it looks like you've got a deeper lot. Usually they're 80 or 85 feet. This is 109 feet. And so it probably pies out in the back. And uh, so 529, if the lot's good enough, they might have a chance. Um, this would have been a good home because they did so much extra stuff to put the stainless steel appliances in the kitchen just to dress it up. And you can really buy a set of stainless steel for probably less than $2,500, especially if you're a good value shopper and, uh, and it can enhance the value of the home by even more than that because the kitchen is such an important room and it's a good quiet street as well. Menifee 549 bungalow with a loft upstairs. So you've got two bedrooms on the main plus two up in the loft area. And the, the pictures look a little different than last time. It's been listed before. Uh, we have seen very similar homes to this sell even between 550 and 6. So I could see it happening with these guys at this price. Uh, my whole thing is I'm not a big fan of whatever substance they use to to wrap this home. It almost looks like a, like a tile, almost like a mosaic tile. Uh, not brick or stucco. There's brick, there's stucco there, and then you have this one here. But that's personal preference. And uh, you're getting a larger basement because you've got a larger footprint for the bungalow. Leech Landing, 624, a uh, little over 2,400 square feet. Not my personal favorite for floor plan because you've got, you've got a kitchen and then you've got rooms that kind of spoke out. So you've got the dining room here, then you've got a bit of a living room, and then you've got family room. And there's a lot of walls, you know, it just it kind of feels like there's there's too much separation. If they open the floor plan here, I think it would be a really nice uh, model. Nice upgrades in the kitchen, though, pot drawers. They've got the the um, upgraded hood fan, pot lights, granite counters, glass shower here, too. So they've put the money in for sure. Usually when we've seen this kind of sale price for this model, it's because of a finished basement or a premium lot. A couple of them have crept over 600. I could see the first number being a six here, but I think 624 may just be inching a little bit too high. Black is 649.5, so we're talking about around the same size as the previous one. Very similar size lot, plus a finished basement. And at my, the same thing as previous. It's a nice home. It looks great. It has a bonus of a finished basement, but they're just creeping a little too high. I'd be very surprised if I saw this one sell anywhere near 650. 
And then we've got pots, 3,400 square feet, 750, and you've got a good size lot, 50 by 98. So this is in those the series that Madme did where there were 50 by 100 foot lots, which is a very good size for New Milton. Typically you're finding 46 by 80, 43 by 88. Uh, 56 by 80 so nice size property and the home looks good too they've got a little bit of dressing up um, above the mantle and around the fireplace hardwood floors you've got a good looking open concept kitchen and we just saw one on story that's a little bit smaller than this one completely different neighborhood but a 56 by 80 foot lot and uh, and they were well up in the seven so this one at 715 five bedrooms I think looks really good I think this is a good price for this home uh, let's move over to the other system. We've got Bronte Street South. So this is a Cedar Shake style home. 359, it's only a one bedroom. That's the only thing I can really say that would punch holes in this one. Because I think the inside's very charming. They've even opened the kitchen up a little bit. Uh, they've done some, some nice upgrades. You've got your pot drawers here. So I think about like maybe a downsizing couple, you're gonna get a bit of road noise from being on Bronte, but the home itself looks very charming, very cute. And uh, it's on a 60 by 96 foot property. And so you can see the uh, the bedroom there plus the ensuite, and you've got a nice little uh, lot here too. I'm not sure if it's a double car garage. It could be that there's a double facing uh, probably John Street and then, uh, and then you've got your door, which could even go into the yard, which is great for somebody who has a boat or some kind of a trailer. So very cool, very interesting home. Uh, I do like it, I like the price point, and I think that uh, for most first time buyers, if they're gonna have kids soon, it may not be the right house, but downsizing, this could be a really good option, and it's a good walk to downtown. It's, got, it's close to a lot of things. Costigan is 389. Um, my whole thing with the Costigan ones, whoop, is uh, it's a very narrow floor plan and so you've got your kitchen with the eat-in and then you have kind of a long room here that's hard to position furniture they've done a pretty good job here with the chair on the diagonal just to kind of open up the floor space but that's really all you're getting so for this price point uh, in this size I think that you can find better models for Madme where you're finding the townhouse is just a little bit wider and it allows for a better fl uh, flow and and um, and just you know and, and actually more rooms and just the the impression that, that it's just a little bit more um, I guess workable and, and you can do things with uh, with the design so anyway it's not a bad listing it could work for somebody but I'd rather go to something like an Emory model uh, from Madme so you've got Weevil Trail 1600 square feet and it's nice inside they've got that that hand scraped look uh for the floors they've done the insert in the front door which if you do a nice job is almost like a, a little piece of art and you've got all the light that that shines in here uh so then you go this way you've got a family room plus a kitchen and uh, the kitchen they've done a nice job too uh, they've extended the cabinets up which is something you don't find a lot of these homes it makes a massive difference and I would say that this one's the model really for a long time. There's a uh, little den upstairs plus three bedrooms. The model stuck around the 450, 460 for a long time. They had a couple really good sales. And I would say that this is not that far off from, uh, from, from where I'd expect it to sell. And there's not a whole lot of selection right now under 500. So it's probably the best looking home detached under 500 out there right now. Finally, we've got Ellington. Uh, it's a Stamber, it's 3,500 square feet. You've got a side door here, plus you've got this, a little bit more of a private drive where you're actually pulling behind the, the turret and, and it, it just, it's nice. And this is a good driveway even for somebody who plays basketball or uh, hockey. It's just a little bit longer if you've got a few cars. And so inside you've got a little den here, a little bit of a, a parlor area separate living dining here you've got your crown moldings your hardwood floors then you get into the the kitchen plus you've got a big family room right across from here and then you've got an eat-in towards the back behind the stairs there's your family room right there it's a great floor plan if you type in madame stanbury into google you're going to see the um what, what i think is one of their best plans that's the master so i'm not sure if they consider the sitting area as being the second a second bedroom because they said there's six upstairs and it doesn't really come with a six uh upgraded shower in the ensuite 
Nice, and then you've got your bedroom. This is one of the front rooms. And then they've got a finished basement too. And apparently there's three more bedrooms here. So this home is probably gonna sell for good money. It's on a 50 by 100 foot lot, same as the uh, the one on Pots that I was mentioning. This is one of those series where Madame really put together a, uh, a, a good size of property. Um, anyway, six bedrooms plus three, that's nine bedrooms. There are families that need I would say at least five or six bedrooms. So this is gonna to cater to them. It's gonna sell for good money. The high school is not far from this one. If you look just over here is the high school. You've got a great public school here, Hawthorne Village. You've got the Catholic school as well. Um, so the location is uh, is very nice as well. So I like that one. I think for the size, it's probably, it's. Got, I think it has enough upgrades here that the, the, the price is even within line of where I'd expect. And that's the list for today. If you have any questions, give us a call. And thank you once again for joining us for Milton Daily Homes.